general dentist is excellent for the basics. They have a very general education. It focuses in the five years that they go to university on how to basic biology and and how to do things so how to extract a tooth how to clean teeth how to fix a broken denture they do these things on a daily basis so they're they're cleaning your teeth fixing your fillings um, maybe extracting some teeth and often the work that they're doing is fairly straightforward and often not exposed to complicated situations or if they are exposed to them they might not even recognize it as something that's going to be more more difficult than just the regular sort of work that they do so their expertise really depends on on their own motivation you know they they often focus on just a small area of dentistry in terms of continuing education and there's no obligation for them to do anything but the basics so what that means to the patient is that quite often a situation is underdiagnosed or frankly misdiagnosed and that means that inappropriate treatment happens you might have a tooth extracted that didn't need to be extracted or you might have a denture design that is ugly or or inappropriate when something uh, simpler and more effective could have been offered so that has a flow on effect it means that your confidence is affected you might not be able to eat comfortably you might not be able to go out with your friends you know functionally you might just not be able to chew as as well as you'd like to or, or to chew and eat all the foods that you'd like to so you might find it incredibly difficult um, I had a patient recently who just said that the nightmare of her life is mealtime because she just cannot eat with her dentures so it's affected her her relationships with her family you know her family are constantly nagging her she won't go out with her friends she won't eat certain foods she's living in a small room because she doesn't want to interact anymore so just giving her something that can work well will really change her life so the other issue I think at a general dental level is that quite often the quality of the work is not as good as it could be not because the dentist isn't trying hard but because they've never been placed in that zone of rigorous scrutiny that a prosthodontist has they've, they've never had to be challenged on their work no one reviews them they just they go to work and just do what they do every day without any feedback whereas we've had to accept those challenges every day by people who are incredibly talented our teachers so at the end of the day if you don't like the way your smile looks or the way your teeth look then you're just not happy you you don't interact with your friends you guard your smile um, you can't socialize in a natural uninhibited way and you know if, if you compound that by finding that it's difficult to eat or painful to eat or that you're worried that teeth are going to drop out or fall out or move then it really impacts on you emotionally as well as physically and of course if these problems are ongoing and and you have to continually see someone to try and resolve them then it has a financial implication as well so a prosthodontist really works hard to avoid these issues and and that's where we spend a lot of time in the pre-planning in in the risk assessment in the diagnosis and in the strategic planning so before treatment starts we discuss what can and can't be done and your life changes with just good dentistry. When you come to see us, we do an initial consultation. It's 90 minutes, it's incredibly comprehensive. We're going to look at not just your teeth, but we're going to look at how attractive or unattractive your smile is, identify the problem areas whether it's the gums the teeth and just look at every aspect of your smile and mouth our normal consultation process is involves three appointments the first appointment is to obtain all the information we need what's happened to you in the past um, what treatment has been provided has it worked what were your issues with it where do you feel things went wrong and what you'd like to achieve we look very comprehensively at your teeth your gums your smile and at your dentures and any artificial teeth that you might have 
And then at the end of that appointment, we'll have a general discussion on what we think might be available to offer to you. Some people then need to go on and have additional information such as x-rays, CT scans. We often need photographs just to have a look and really assess these issues more closely. And the final point of your, your consultation process is an appointment where we sit down and discuss what can be done in your situation. So for a limited time only, we're offering the consultation for free. It's excellent value and it may make a huge quality of life difference as well as a big saving to you in the long term. We'd encourage you to contact our rooms and take up this offer for the limited time that it's available.